So now let's take a look at setting up a reusable system within Substance Painter that's going to allow us to export any number of images that we want already pre-channel packed. For this particular project, I want to take a look at exporting my roughness, my metallic, and my ambient occlusion, all within one texture map, being a roughness, metallic, ambient occlusion map, right, an RMA map. However, what I'm going to show you in this video is really the ability to set up templates to export any configuration of different textures within a packed image. So to start that, if we go back into material, it's come up into file and down to export textures. Now you're likely familiar with this dialog, right? This is where it's going to allow us to pick any of our output templates that come with Substance Painter. And you probably also noticed up at the top, uh, I've gone ahead and created some of my own for particular projects. And so these all have different output textures based on the type of project that I'm doing. So we're gonna take a look at how we can set this up. But let's come up to the top left here where it says output templates, which hopefully as a dead giveaway. And we can see that these are all of the templates that we can select in the other panel here. And we've also got a whole bunch of other stuff over here, which we'll take a look at it in a second. But first we need to create a new template. So I'll come up over here with the little plus button and we'll get a new export preset down at the bottom. So I'll double click on this and just call it RMA because that is the type of map I wanna create, but feel free to call it whatever you want, depending on the project. So now that I've got this selected, we can see that there isn't any output maps. And this is where I'll create the RMA map and provided the specific channels. So the particular image I wanna create is going to be an RGB image that holds red, green, and blue. And we can see that we have a lot of options up here for it. So what do I pick? Well, I'm gonna to want to be able to store three independent textures into individual channels. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the R plus G plus B because that's going to provide us each individual channels. I also wanna come and just change the name of this to be RMA. So now that we've got that set up, I need to go ahead and actually provide each one of these channels a texture that we're going to draw from our project. So for the red, I wanna draw the roughness. So I'll come down into our input maps here, try and find roughness, and we can see down in R, we've got this roughness option. So I'll click and drag this into my red, and remember that these are all going to be gray channels, so I'll select gray channel. So now our red is going to hold this grayscale texture, which is our roughness. And you can see that based on the color. For our green, it's going to be our metallic. So I'll do the same thing. I'll come into input maps, try and find metallic, M, there we go. Click and drag that in, and gray channel. And you can see now those have got different colors. Finally, for our blue, we're going to use ambient occlusion. Well, this one's actually a little bit unique because it wasn't an input map that we've been using, right? Even though we have the option, but rather it was a mesh map that was baked from our mesh over here. So I'll go and select the ambient occlusion from mesh maps and bring that in and gray channel. So now you can see based on the color coordination, which images or textures are actually slotted into which one of these channels. So now that I'm happy with the overall setup of this particular packed image template, I can go back into settings, select the output template that I want to use, and our new one is probably going to be down at the bottom just because it's not been refreshed. And you can see that we have RMA down here. And when I go ahead and save it, we can see that this image consists of our roughness, metallic, and ambient occlusion textures within each individual RGB channel. 